This is Darlene Robbins, President of the Northeast Pennsylvania Manufacturers and Employers Association. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of our sponsors for making the evening Manufacturers and Employers Excellence Awards such a success. Our platinum sponsors, Altidus USA, maker of fine cigars, Mrs. T's Pierogi, celebrating 60 years. Pennsylvania Manufacturers Association, Sapa Industrial Extrusions, Tredegar Film Products, our goal sponsors, Ashland Technologies, Inc., Borton Lawson, Engineering Architecture, McCann, Changing Futures, Changing Lives, United States Coal Storage, our silver sponsors, CTC Manufacturing, Inc., your outsource resource, Henkel Excellence is our passion, and Nafsinger Auto Wrecking and Used Car Sales. Thank you all. Uh, Tool Dossel is going to be accepting the awards tonight on behalf of the National Association of Manufacturers, Jay Timmons, President, congratulations. We'd like to present this award. And this award is from the House of Representatives of uh, Representative Tobacco and Representative Knowles. This is from U.S. Senator Pat Toomey. Congratulations. This is from the Pennsylvania Senate. Congratulations. USA. Uh, many of my co-workers who made this project a success are here today and I would request you all to join me in a round of applause for them. They're sitting at that table. So. <laughs> the Cigar Factory in Macro has been here for 50 years and people don't know its new name and what we do there, but a lot has changed. And from making cigar paper and tobacco paper once upon a time, now we make that. But in addition to that, we make pharmaceutical products, food products, and consumer products. So we are trying to find ways to move forward in our economy here. And as Darlene mentioned, uh, coming of gas to the two Macadu is a very important thing, not only for our company, but it reduces the cost there for the community. And the hope is that other manufacturers who want to have energy intensive businesses will move to the kangaroos in that area and using Pennsylvania gas in Pennsylvania to make jobs will be a very big positive for our area. So this is our hope and we'll see how it goes. Thank you. Thank you. 
congratulations for the Pennsylvania Senate.
be the most caring and giving group of people I have ever worked with. So we thank all of that. And thank you. And 
on behalf of Pennsylvania Clinic, congratulations. I think I would have rather won the expansion award to take the truth. That was very impressive. <laughs> uh, first, I'd like to thank the Manufacturers Association for sponsoring the event. It's a privilege and honor to be mentioned with some of these other companies, so thank you very much. Um, I'd also like to thank the management team back there. Truly, I'm the quarterback of the team, and I get to take the credit. But I'm going to call them and give me a second here. Uh, Jeff Kosho, our maintenance manager, please stand up and sway. Thank you, sir. Our next award recipient is Borton Lawson and Tom Hattie, will you please come forward. In a recent combined heat and power, I'll refer to as CHIP project, for an industrial client in Pennsylvania, the Borton Lawson team identified a strong correlation between the consistent electrical demand of the facility and its year-round steam load. Combined heat and power technology of cogeneration produces electric power while making use of, of conventionally wasted thermal energy remaining in exhaust gases, cooling systems, or other energy waste systems. In collaboration with two consultant firms, Borton Lawson worked on a 1MW chip project at an industrial facility. Borton Lawson's electrical engineering team has been focused on offering environmentally beneficial solutions whenever possible. They have been a member of the Combined Heat and Power Partnership through the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency since 2010. On behalf of the National Association of Manufacturers, Jay Timmons, President and CEO, congratulations. On behalf of the County Pennsylvania Manufacturers Association, congratulations. On behalf of the House of Representatives of Pennsylvania, congratulations. On behalf of Senator Pat Toomey, congratulations. My township. My township. Plains Township. Board of Supervisors. And on behalf of the Pennsylvania Senate, congratulations. Uh, caretaker 
of a 1,500 horsepower natural gas fired engine that sits behind his plant now and produces about 60% of their electricity and about 60% of the uh, energy that used to come from the boiler plant by a potentially free waste heat off the engine. Uh, so that's, you know, combined heat power was what was formerly called cogeneration, so the new buzzword. Uh, and it's uh, very successful. They have a great application for it. It worked out well. Um, I'd also like to thank Tom Duff, the president of Mount Joy, who wasn't able to be here, and Scott Badger, the C, uh, CFO, who also was not able to be here, but were uh, intimately involved in the project day to day and making it a success. Um, and just a, finally, a plug for the Manufacturers Association. The way this project came about is uh, Darlene said to me, thanks very much for volunteering to co-chair our uh, energy roundtable. That was the first I heard of it. Um, with Steve Russell of J3 Energy. So having met Steve through that contact, Steve introduced me to uh, Lori Parik of A1 Energy. Lori was already working with Mount Joy on lighting efficiency projects. And we were able to put together some grants and uh, develop this project. And uh, it's, it's down there chugging away right now, generating a lot, a substantial amount of their power for their successful Pennsylvania manufacturing operation. So thanks again to the uh, Manufacturing Association Networking Works. And anytime I ask you to co-chair a roundtable, let me know what should they do. <laughs> Give it. <laughs> so moving back. Thank you. The next award recipient is CTC Manufacturing. Congratulations on behalf of the National Association of Manufacturers, Jay Smith, CEO President. Congratulations to you from BMA. And congratulations to both of you from Northeast Pennsylvania Manufacturers. Congratulations to CTC from the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. And also from Senator Pat Toomey's office, and which municipality are you guys in? Hazelton. Okay, the city of Hazelton. Yes. City Council of Hazelton. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And from the Pennsylvania Senate, congratulations.
the ankle group for their efforts in making this uh, arrangement successful. What's exciting about this is we have a nonprofit and a for profit come together for a mutual benefit to show that we can make something work. With Hankel support, we provided employment for, right now it's an extra 30 people. 56% uh, of our workforce is adults with disabilities. And they're getting a chance not only to work, but to work on an assembly line and make more money than they've ever made before. And me and me, as Frank told me before, we gave them the opportunity, but it really wasn't a gift. They asked us to come out and earn it. And that's the thing that we appreciated. It was a true partnership. It wasn't a favor given by Hankel to us. They said, here's the problem. We'll give you a chance to be the solution. And we've been working together for almost a year now. And we've gone through about a million cases of product in that time. We're quite familiar with their products now. And I just wanted to point out here to Linda Roberts, who's on my staff, our production manager, was instrumental in jumping in there, working on the floor, making things work. We're actually running two ships on site in Hankel. And we're running three lines over at our place. Actually doing a semi motive day of product for them back and forth, which goes over to their company and goes right out the door as soon as it gets there. So it's been a beautiful relationship. It shows what the potential is when companies and organizations can come together and make something happen.
we have campuses, bless you, in not only Pottsville and Hazleton, but as well as Sunbury, Dixon City, mm -hmm. Allentown, Carlisle. We opened up our seven campus in Wilkes-Barre at the end of November, and campus number eight just opened up two weeks ago, but we'll be enrolling for July. With that said, we entered the trades. Two years ago, we opened up a, a brand new HVAC wing, as well as a bringing on board a brand new electrical degree at our Pottsville campus. At our Hazleton campus, we have a commercial industrial maintenance technician program. It covers the plumbing, the heating, the electrical, the welding. If that's something you have a need for, please let us know. We also have um, an associate degree program in welding technology that we just opened up this past February. If there is a trade that we need to get into, please see our campus director, Shannon Brennan, or one of our other staff members to let us know because we're here to serve our community and the needs that you have in your business field. So thank you very much. This is a wonderful honor. Our next award recipient is U.S. Cold Storage, and I'd like Mike Atkins to come forward, please. United Cold Storage completed an expansion on their existing facility. With the expansion, the facility had 41 dock doors, over 40,000 power positions, temperature control dock, and state-of-the-art training room. This expansion created 20 additional jobs. On behalf of the National Association of Manufacturers, Jay Timmons, President and CEO, congratulations. Congratulations to you. Yeah. On behalf of the Northeast Pennsylvania Manufacturers Association, congratulations. Congratulations to the Fifth State House of Representatives. Congratulations on behalf of Senator Pat Toomey and East Union Township. Waste products. 
This was accomplished by collecting food waste from customers to take from the trash into a composting program. CRI also took some of the off-spec plastics and put into a process to create an alternative fuel source for a local cement manufacturer. In addition, they put solar on their building to reduce energy use. On behalf of the National Association of Manufacturers, Jay Timmons, President and CEO, congratulations. The graphics from the Northeast Pennsylvania manufacturers and employer association. And if you could stay for a picture, please. Our next presentation, last presentation for our evening, on Nova Solutions, Steve Asco, could you please come forward?
uh, with a token of our appreciation for the long wet trip to Schuylkill <laughs> County. Thank you very much.